you guys doing? My name is Son and in this video we have to talk about something that's a little bit more serious because we have to cover hustle culture which has been annoying me for the past few weeks and you should probably stick around in this video as well because at the end we will have something that involves you as a viewer and that might involve you with a couple of upcoming videos as well so stick around and you'll find out. Before we get into this we have to cover why we're talking about this at all. So a couple of days ago I was opening up my Instagram account, this one, and I was scrolling through my home feed and I found a variety and a plethora of different posts that had to do with hustle culture. And I mean it's no surprise, I started this channel mainly because I was really into music marketing which is my day job and I was just trying to get some of the information that I know and that I've learned over the years out there to everybody else in the hopes that it you know might help someone with their upcoming projects or the projects that they're currently involved in. What was really annoying to me was that most of these posts really seemed like they were not geared towards helping someone or helping an individual. They were much rather geared towards an audience that was looking to get famous and get rich quick. And this is a thing that's really seeping through all of the hustle culture content that you see online and it's also potentially quite dangerous. But let me explain, follow me. Let me quickly bring you up to speed with my experiences with the entire thing. Now, obviously I'm not someone who doesn't like to work a lot. If you've seen my meetup with the other two creators that were shouted out by Mr. Beast, then you know that I'm doing quite a bit and I tend to overload myself with work quite often. And this is a common thing for me to do. To put what I'm saying into context, let me give you a brief overview of what I'm doing throughout the week. So, first of all, I have my day job, which I'm working full time. And then I'm also working on this YouTube channel where I produce two YouTube videos a week, which means I'm coming up with a concept. Sometimes I'm writing a rough script, which I do like for a video like this right now. And also filming and editing the entire thing on my own. So this takes up a lot of time and this is what I do after I'm done with my day job. I also have my band, which also requires a bit of work, so I'm working on that as well, especially right now with the releases that we have coming up and with all of the plans that we had for 2021. Then I have a relationship that obviously I want to spend some time on, and also I have a master's program that I kind of want to finish, but I really don't know where to put it on my schedule. But that's what I'm doing throughout the week. So with all of that in mind, let me tell you, when I was scrolling through my feed, I felt like I wasn't doing enough. So whenever I had some resemblance of free time, it kind of felt like you shouldn't have that. Uh, you should be working right now. What are you doing not spending time on working on a project or doing something apart from you know looking at your phone? And that's kind of toxic. Now it's important to note that this channel wouldn't exist without people like Gary V or the guys from Burstimo who are making incredible music marketing content and I'm linking them below if you want to see more videos about that and on a more consistent basis than on this channel. But I was watching a lot of their videos and they've also pushed me into a direction to start this YouTube channel as well. But there's a caveat, at some point these videos get overwhelming. And that's what I felt when I was scrolling through my feed a few days ago. It felt like there's too many cooks in the kitchen. Everybody was just shouting for attention. And just as I mentioned in the beginning, it didn't feel like people were actually in it to help someone. One of the reasons why hustle culture is so dangerous is that it glorifies being overworked. It glorifies the symptoms of burnout. It's, it's taking things like not having time to sleep or cutting down on your sleep time, cutting down on your free time to, to rest and it's taking them and it's glorifying them to a level where it's getting unhealthy. And it's dangerous, especially if you're prone to being influenced by things like that, because it's just constantly telling you if you're not working 24-7, if you're not on the grind 24-7, and if you're not overworking yourself, you're just not good enough. And that notion is just infuriating to me. Of course it's good if you have a lot to do, if you have a lot of projects that you can work on, but it's just not sustainable in the long run. And I think everybody knows that. The worst thing about hustle culture is that it just makes you unhappy. There is no fixed destination that you can get to and you're done. It's 24-7 work, non-stop, forever. And if you reach a threshold where you say, this is a goal that I've set myself and this is where I want it to be, hustle culture is there to tell you that the grind doesn't stop, it just continues. So in the end, it's less of a work ethic or something that you can implement into your life to get a little bit more productive, but it's more of an addiction. And that's where you get to the next part. Follow me. 
So as with everything that has to do with addiction, there's always people who are trying to profit from it. And in the case of hustle culture, these are things like network marketing or multi-level marketing or people just trying to sell you their course. And I bet you, you have seen a ton of people that are trying to sell you their course on how to get rich quick, on how to trade stocks and all of that kind of stuff. I've seen tons of advertisements on YouTube about this and we all remember Ty Lopez and his infamous words here in my garage, who is one of the people who have also tried to profit from hustle culture and arguably he has. The worst thing about this is that sometimes people dump all of their life savings into a course or into an event like this with the thought that they've just stumbled upon a pot of gold that nobody else has found and this is going to help them succeed and get rich quick and all of that kind of stuff. There's money to be made in selling people a dream. And this is essentially what these courses and all of these entrepreneurs are actually doing. I actually subscribed to one of these marketing guru guys who has since then not stopped sending me emails. And I know these are automated emails that go out to everybody, but it's incredible how much pressure they put on you. The titles of these emails are like the worst clickbait that you can find on YouTube. And I'm listing some of them here, but like I said, it's incredible how much pressure they put on you. And one of my biggest issues with hustle culture, apart from all of the problems that I've mentioned before, is the fact that it simply isn't geared towards driving you to find solutions to problems that you can fix, which would be a great way to start a business, but instead it's just about the general topic of making money. It's very broad, it's very unspecific, and it's giving you some of the most random tips and instructions that you can think of and we're going to check some of them out so let's just jump right in let's start with the first one this one is from the income hustle and it says go before 30 so, number one start saving seven thousand dollars per month like i'm <laughs> i'm already out i i don't know if you guys make that amount of money but i i'm not so uh you know second one is wake up early every day okay fine start a side hustle okay read two books a month you know, you, you do you specify which books, you know, do I read, do I read like fantasy novels and stuff? Work out one hour a day. I mean, I, okay. Start investing, become a millionaire. Like step seven, Ste seven steps and you're a millionaire. Oh, damn, why didn't I do that earlier? <laughs> yes. Okay, let's look at the next one. This is one of us from the same Instagram account. This is, I mean, they're just going all in. This is saying, this is why you're poor. Thank you, I didn't need that today, but okay then. So this is saying, are you willing to work 100 hour weeks? Are you willing to not go on vacation for three years? Would you work on your anniversary? Would you celebrate Christmas in January because of business? I have. And then it's just the quote from Dan Pina, the shouting guy at the top of that. I mean, you know, it's all fine. If you're a person that's able to pull that off, that's amazing and all power to you and just go ahead and crush it. But this headline is, you know, it's, it's driving me mad because it's just giving you the impression that uh, if you're not doing that, you're basically, you're basically worthless. What are you even doing? Why are you even waking up in the morning? Why are you breathing the same air as this guy, Dan Pina? I don't appreciate that kind of, that kind of tone. Let's look at the next one. Oh my God, it's all from the same page. This one. <laughs> okay. All right, this one is good as well. This one is how to live rent free. I mean, the idea is great, right? So number one, buy a three bedroom apartment. It's like the first one, like save seven grand a month. Like what? <laughs> I didn't know I had those. But okay, buy a three bedroom apartment. Yeah, okay. Live in one room. Yeah. Rent out the other two rooms. Yeah. Let your tenants pay for your mortgage. Yeah. Now you are living rent free. Use your passive income towards your debt payments. Yeah, I mean, like technically it's not wrong. I guess. But like, number one is the problem. That's the issue. <laughs> Dude, let's go for the next one. Those are things that are always popping up in between of those, you know, tips that people put out. So, broke, jump on every trend. Oh, I've seen this one. It was just a different design from a different page, but here we go. Broke, jump on every trend, rich, save and invest into the trend. All right. Second one, dress like you're rich and the rich person is saying clothes aren't important. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's like, I think if you have a super serious job, like if you're working at a, at a bank or if, if you're the manager, the, the boss of the bank, then maybe you shouldn't run around in a sweater from your weekend. Maybe, maybe you just shouldn't. 
because somehow that also conveys something, right? Um, it's like, yeah, rappers wear these diamond chains and they wear these super expensive clothes, clothes but that's just part of their job, that's uniform. <laughs> it's just the uniform that the job comes with. Okay, so let's go for another one. This one is from Millionaire Tips, so you know it's legit and it's, it's showing a lion. And hustle culture guys, they love their lions. And this one is even wearing a crown, so you know it's even more powerful. This one is, a, this one is an alpha lion, so you know what's, you know what's up. And uh, there's this picture of this, this lion from the front, he's looking very grim. And then from the back he has all these spears in the back and in front of him there's like four lionesses. I don't know what that's supposed to portray, but like they're there. And it's saying the crown of the king is forged with blood. Oh damn, this is... <laughs> this is cringe, this is heavy cringe, oh my god. Okay, let's look at the last one. This one is again from Millionaire Tips and, uh, you know, it's again, it's a picture of a lion. No oh, surprise. And the caption reads, I don't need a weapon, I am one. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's just leave it at that. This is the type of stuff that I'm seeing on my feed and it's infuriating. I don't, I don't really appreciate it, I don't like it, but I don't use Instagram often enough to just have it changed. And you know, it's weird because there's this entire self-optimization thing with, you know, becoming super healthy and working out and all of that stuff. And that's good and that's great and all of that. I'm not saying it's wrong. And obviously in some of these, there is some value in some of them, right? But you know, with this type of stuff, there's a lot of motivational fast food. Let's put it that way. It's quick and a lot of times it doesn't have a lot of substance to it. Um, but there's still tons of it, like it's everywhere. Uh, because it's everywhere, everybody is copying it and you're getting the same stuff just fed from different places and, and it's not really helping. But yeah, anyways, that's the reason why I stopped doing like the more general marketing type of stuff. And I maybe I will do it again in the future. Like I'm still, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm learning something new every day and there's always things that I could share, but I don't really feel like I want to be in that world and I don't want to be thrown into that world so this is also why you're seeing different content on this platform as well but I'm not going to stray too far from the path which is why I want to involve you guys because I thought this is just way more fitting to the channel and it helps in bringing the community together and I get to check out what you guys are doing so if you are an artist if you are a musician if you are someone who has a YouTube channel and you want me to check out how you're promoting the entire thing because like that's my day job this is what I do for a living right now uh, then just put it into the comments down below with the words please review and then put in uh, you know, I don't know, like your link to the, your channel or the link to your Facebook profile, the name of your band, anything like that. Just put it in the comments down below and I'd make a video on it and I'll just check out what you guys submit. And if you guys are into it and we get a couple of them in the comments down below, I guess this could be kind of interesting and this could help in getting the entire marketing thing into a direction where it's not kind of throwing me into uh, this hustle culture and uh, you know that kind of world because I don't really I don't really like that that's the video for today thank you so much for watching it and let me know if you have the same impression of hustle culture what are your experiences with it um, do you think it just motivates you and it just you know it makes you happy if you have this kind of motivation that you can pick up or if it just drags you down let me know in the comments down below because I'd love to hear all your thoughts on this and yeah, again, next video coming up on Friday. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, stay safe, bye.